I believe true learning is experience. When you try to use your learning in any project, you're trying to do something, things will not happen as it happened in the lab or as it happened with the instructor. With the project goal, you will be not learning but gaining the experience of building a full-fledged entire end-to-end -end system which comprise of enterprise technology. The demo of Project Core, which we will be showing you in a couple of seconds, you will experience the vastness and the depth of technology which we have covered here. Never before in history, someone has gone so far for just online education for the Project Core, which we have done. So let's go ahead and see what is Project Core. So let's get into the Project Core demo. So what you are seeing here is our e-commerce end and our e-commerce end is built with a wonderful looking Angular 4 interface. And with the Angular 4, you are also seeing a D3 graph and this look very nice in the yellow color. And what exactly it represent? Each node is representing a product and it is linked to other product if it's a co-product. So what's a co-product? If my product number two is sold very frequently with 721933, then they will be a co-product. So what I'm interested in is a product called our baby as a journal, which I'm searching in the product detail here. And once I found that product, I can select this. So basically it's searching through 1 million record of Amazon, which is present in our Hadoop Spark system. And it gives the details of that product, in my product detail tile. I can now bundle the product with this Hadoop Spark model and find out what are the other co-products which are present for our baby a journal. Now, what exactly is happening? My Hadoop Spark is referring to the machine learning model which is placed there and finding out all the co-product for our baby a journal book. Now, as you can see within few seconds, I got all the co-product. Now, this delay of 10 to 15 seconds happened because my Hadoop Spark running on a single core machine. If it's running on a multi-cluster, then it would be one second or half second time within which you would have seen this graph. So let's get to it. We will find what are the co-product which we need to place an order for. So let's see what is this 37134. This 37134 is the pleasure of vegetarian cooking. This is one of my favorite book and I have got a an confirmation and a feeling that this book will be selling very nicely with our baby a journal which is already selling perfectly. I can go also directly in Amazon and check it out with this ASIN number mapped directly with my product ID. Now what I'm interested to do is place an order for the book, The Pleasure of Vegetarian Cooking. I will press on this place an order and it will show me a pop-up of placing an order. So let me order a 270 quantity with a delivery date on 15th of this month, which is this Friday. And I will place the order by clicking order. Once I have placed the order, I will also get a nice pop-up and I can confirm the order by going on top right corners and pressing on order updates. And here you can see that I've placed an order of 270 quantity of the pleasure of vegetarian cooking book. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my SAP HANA system, which will be done by a manager who is managing the inventory or stocks and they will be confirming if they can actually fulfill these orders. So this is my dashboard of MRP controller, the custom MRP controller, which is built in SAP UI5 version 1.48, the most recent version, and running on top of SAP HANA. So if I see I have 13 materials here, and there are two shortages. If I go inside, I can see in front of me that the pleasure of vegetarian cooking is, whose vendor is amazing, is already going down. So this graph actually shows me what are the stocks availability for the next three weeks. And I can see directly here, one material short is in three weeks. So if there are a lot of product, I can also search from the vendor. For example, I can just filter out all this product 
by just searching the name of the vendor here. Now what I'm interested in here is to press on the pleasure of vegetarian cooking and add this to the detail. Now when I press on the add to details, it will be adding the particular product, the details and as you can see here, one material is in the detail screen. If I go inside this, I can see that minus 40 shot in two days. Now what I'm going to see is I can see the graph view of this particular product and I can see that 270 units are going out of my inventory and I only have 230 units. So what I will be doing here is going to press on this fix it button and SAP HANA will be suggesting me some of the option which I can go through. Now it's saying to reduce the order to 230 quantity which is exactly the quantity which I have in the stock. So let's do that and within few seconds I can see the new scenario and I can also check the graph version of it and this looks okay for me. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press on update here and it's going to confirm that this is the sales order update which I want to do and when I say change it then it will be changing the orders for me. Now once the order has been changed I can remove it from my detail view and it will take me to the home page because there is no material to be analyzed. Now I am coming here in all product I can see the pleasure of vegetarian cooking is all okay they all stocks are okay everything is confirmed to me now if I go back to my e-commerce and I refresh this page because we have not implemented web sockets yet because it will be too complicated then then I can see that my order is updated in e-commerce and to 230 based on my availability so this was a quick demo of entire project core running on SAP HANA the ERPN and the front end the e-commerce end running on Hadoop Spark. Enroll in the project core and we will show you how to build the system for yourself. My name is Ajay Naik. Thank you for watching this demo. So what are you waiting for? Enroll in the project core. My name is Ajay Naik and I will see you in this course.